Hello my aviation friends, in one of my previous videos I showed you how to replace slide on A320 passenger doors and if you haven't seen it yet you will find the link up here or lately in the description below this video. And in today's video I would like to show you how to replace slide under door number two and three. But before we start I would like to tell one important information. This video was created only for better understanding of the system and replacement of the slide. It is in no way intended to replace maintenance manual always follow the documentation which was released by manufacturer. Thank you for understanding and now we can proceed to replacement of the slide. As a first we need to deactivate cylinder which belong to slide on which we will gonna work on. Push in clips. Now it's open. Then you pull it back. Remove it. Safety pin is always in the pouch. And try to always leave it out of the bin. So everybody knows that it's a uh, design. Yeah? Like this. You can work, nothing will gonna happen. There are a few more steps which you need to perform for your own safety, like deactivation of the door emergency cylinder, which I already showed you in a previous video. Or set flaps to zero and secure the lever in the zero position. What I'm removing now is aerodynamical panel. That one will be pushed by slide during deployment. And of course, for replacement, we need to remove it as well. Slide itself is attached to the airplane by several studs, but be sure that you have somebody near to you because slide itself weighs around 30 kilograms and uh, for a removal you will lately need both hands. which we're gonna use lately for tightening of the of the studs as well because the, you, you need to tighten them with like 30 pound inches. So now I'm gonna ask you for assistance. I'll lose this one. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's it. No. Since all studs are removed, we need to move top of the slide outboards to get access to bonding lead and also to emergency light connector. We'll then transfer the screw to the new one, just to don't lose it, okay? So, then we're gonna cross check everything, if everything is okay. But everything looks so far good. Connector is inside of here, if you want to take a look. See? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you just need to get your hand inside. Bonding lead and connector is removed. Next step is removal of the inflatable hose. But it is easy to say, but difficult to do. You must move slide out of the position without applying too much stress on the hose. Well, what you need to do, you need to find the union. Good. It's loose. Lovely. Don't worry, we are professionals, but from time to time we need to have fun as well. Okay. 
and since light is removed, I can show you Union on the fuselage where it's necessary to install inflation hose. And as you can see, the access is really horrible. If you try to remove hose from the slide first and then from the fuselage, I don't know for what reason, but you might try that, keep in mind that hose is always part of the slide. Now, since all checks are performed, we can proceed with the installation. And of course, as a first, is installation of the hose. Okay. And of course, holes need to be tied to exact torque value and be sure that you don't twist it because that can cause damage. For a good reason, yeah? Yeah. Maybe. Okay, so trying to not twist the hose. And of course, since okay. slide is part of emergency equipment, every 20, step during installation needs to be double checked. So my colleague is yeah. cross checking the yeah, torque value 8. which I used. It is too weak. And since hose is on place, it's time to install connector. electrical connector yeah. and, of course, bonding lead. Then we perform resistance check and the final protection of the bonding point. And finally, we can proceed with the installation of the slide into the frame of the aircraft. I have maybe last one advice. Before you install the slide, Double check all receptacles, because if you find that one of them is damaged at this point, you need to repeat the whole process again. And of course, again, all stats need to be dark to exact volume. Goody! So now this... All of them in the slot. Lock on. And this was the last procedure from the outside. <laughs> and first thing which we need to perform inside is to perform test of the emergency lights inside of this light. And since this is the older version of Airbus, I need to do it through the programming and test panel. And thanks to green LED system OK and status shown on the display test OK, we know that test pass. And now all that's remaining is to return aircraft to serviceable conditions, which mean to activate emergency operational cylinder inside of the doors, also activate the cylinder for the affected slide, and as well remove the locking tool for the flaps and slats. Now it has slots, there, one, two, three, four slots and those four pins on the top yeah? so you, you need to feel that it's sliding best way is like put it on the edge twist it up should be on one two And the pressure gauge need to be always visible. Yeah? We are in green, so everything's fine. That's it. This is all about slide replacement. Uh, thank you that you watched it until the end. Uh, if you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below. And all what's remaining is to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you next one. Bye.